I got this from Big Bad Toy Store. And you can too. Just click on the link below. Hey, what's up? Siri Emerald here. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Really good seeing you. This is going to be an unboxing video of the new Hot Toys. MMS 365, sideshow number 902716. Now, it says CA3. That stands for Captain America Civil War, the third installment of the Captain America story. Black Widow. Made in China. Hot Toys. Let's get out of the box. So we've got what I call, I don't know, kind of a retro style box because it's basically black and white with some coloring in it. This is an image of the actual actors that play these characters. You see we got Ant-Man here and Hawkeye here, Black Widow here. But I don't believe it's an actual photograph. Looks like it's possibly an image that's been painted over it because that looks like a little um, watercolor painting style there. See, she's got her, I think those called Widow Sticks. Don't remember what their, her batons are called. And on the front, you know, it says Captain America Marvel Civil War. It's all smooth. There's no texture on this at all, even though there's like a, a honeycomb effect or, you know, it's not really a honeycomb. It kind of looks like a burlap sack, actually, the way that that is. Looks like it's a piece of linen or a piece of burlap that the image has been painted onto. And the bottom way down here, it says Black Widow MMS 365, one six scale collectible figure, movie masterpiece series and hot toys. On this side of the package, the image continues. So we have Iron Man here, and I believe that's his Mark 45 suit. And we see Vision's feet. Can't tell what that is yet, but it says Black Widow, same thing, MMS 365. And down here, I, that doesn't look like Black Widow's image. That looks like Iron Man's image. So maybe that's supposed to represent the team that she's on, Team Iron Man. And on this other side, we have that same image here. So I'm assuming that's Team Iron Man. That's Black Panther. And on the back, so we can see now that that was Bucky that was continuing on. There's Vision, of course. Up here is War Machine and Falcon and Captain America, naturally. United we stand, divided we fall, which kind of was the premise of the entire movie. Here it does say Team Stark, so it explains what that is with the Black Widow. MS 365 one scale collectible figure again. The warning about choking hazard, not for children under three years old. And this product is suitable for ages 15 and up. Please read these instructions carefully before you open this product. This product is not suitable for children under three years old due to small parts which may cause choking hazards. Some components are rather sharp in shape and fragile. Exercise care during unpacking and dis disposing. Huh. I guess they want to make sure that you exercise care when you throw this away. It literally says disposing. Please keep them out of the reach of children under 15 years old and do not allow children to manipulate them. Some components are of limited movability and could be damaged if inappropriately twisted or bent with excessive forces. Contrived damage will not be considered as product defect and hence replacement will not be provided. Please keep this product away from fire heater, or any place with high temperature to avoid deformation. Do not wipe the product with thinner, benzene, alcohol, etc., which could damage the surface of the product or cause paint fading. This package is intended to protect the product itself only. Replacement requests will not be considered even if it is damaged. Actually, it says, will not be considered even it is damaged. Final product may be Final product may slightly vary from pictured prototype. Product may need a few steps of assembly to be completed. Please keep your purchase receipt. The receipt is necessary for customer support services. After sales service will only be provided for first hand purchase via official channels. And we've got some contact information on here for Hot Toys, Secret Base, um, Marvel, it says 2016, Hot Toys Limited. Top of the box says Black Widow MMS 365, one six scale collectible figure with Iron Man image there. And on the bottom of the box, it says Captain America Civil War. Sleeve style box, so let's get this out. So here we have Divided We Fall. We see her in her shadow box, which I've uh, stated before. You literally can use this to display your figures, even if you don't keep it in the plastic inside of there. You can put it in there and you've got them in their display box, keeping them out dust free. It's, you know, you don't have to spend another hundred bucks on a case if you don't want to. Just display them here, however you want to do it. On this side, we see we have Iron Man's logo. And on this side, 
we have Black Widow. And on the back, we have the names of the people responsible for this. Now, notice that's a giant Captain America shield that they have etched into that. So, I like how they did that, especially with how the storyline went. And here we can see the names of the people responsible for creating this figure. All right, so let's get her out of her box. And the inside color of the box is the same as the outside color of the box. Again, perfect for displaying her in the box. And we have just a single clamshell piece here. It's not multiple pieces. So everything's in this one piece here, and there's an instruction manual. We have a little bitty Ant-Man with a little display stand to stand him on. This is cool, kind of a, uh, a crouching Ant-Man. He appears to be a different scale of an Ant-Man than I have had yet. So I've got smaller ones and larger ones. But I also... This is the Civil War Ant-Man. I don't have an, a Civil War Ant-Man yet. So actually this is the first Civil War Ant-Man that I have in scale. And here's his little display stand. It has little marks in here. I don't know if you can see those or not. That uh, you would display him in his little feet and knee impressions. And like I said before, you could put an, an Elmer's glue or a hot glue, which doesn't melt the plastic, uh, to hold him in or just set them on there. Those look like they're deep enough. You'll probably stand quite easily. And the bottom of that says Marvel 2016 Hot Toys Limited. All rights reserved. She has her little batons here. A pair of them. And they are translucent as well as painted. Now, I don't know why they made them translucent smoky because I, I thought they lit up blue. And, I mean, I would have thought they would have made him translucent blue. That would have been better, but it's cool. And I don't know whether or not you'd be able to run anything in there to make them light up. I, I really doubt it. There may be someone out there that can customize that. But there's her sticks extended. And here's a couple for the wrist gauntlets that... I believe, if I remember correctly, they have like an electricity that they shoot out of them. Extra little wrist pegs, which make it easier if you're exchanging hands uh, regularly. And, uh, well, I thought these would be like the retracted um, batons, but there's, it doesn't look anything like the baton. Well, I don't know what this is. We have a pair of those. Right there. He has a pair of pistols. In here. They're short. You know, I, I call these concealed carry pistols because they're so small. And let's see, it racks back right there. So you can uh, display it and ready to put a, a round in the chamber. Uh, the magazine will come out or clip and has a little round right there and the little holes in the back so you can see how many rounds are in your magazine so it does come out just have to get it right there and just slide it out of there and if you look right in there i don't know if you can see that or not but you can see the little round in there when you pull this magazine out all the way through that in there. and she comes with two night sticks right here much for each of her hands and for her hands we have two trigger hands one left and one right. 
We have two holding or grasping, actually holding hands, so holding her batons, one left and one right. We have two pair of fists, or actually we have one pair of fists, left and right, and these are sealed up tight. So that's definitely a punching, punching or angry fist. She has relaxed palms that she comes with. It's easier getting that off for a change. I hate having to cut those off. Ridiculous. Oh, first impression here, I really like how she looks. I uh, think that's a really good rendition of Scarlett Johansson, Black Widow. And that uh, head sculpt there. It looks really nice. Let's have a see here if this scrolls. If this will unzip. Yeah, sure does. You can really get her to uh, display some nice cleavage there. How you want to display her. I like the the paint on the little belt buckle she's got. It's really cool. Actually it's not a belt buckle. I guess it would be a cincher for her waist. But that's definitely her emblem there. Because here's her her belt buckle right there. You know, it's cool they've, they've got this so you have a uh, a lit up one although it's not lit up or you know non lit up so you can have her standing by or you can have her charged up assuming what this means because they look identical in their purpose and her holster is um, reminiscent of plastic holsters which are designed to keep your firearm locked in place so they can't be pulled out without having to hit a little release button on it there. So I think that's pretty cool. I like that. It's all connected through her waist belt and then around her thighs. It looks really nice. I like how they styled her hair this time. First impressions, I'm really impressed. And she stands up pretty easily on her own. She comes included with a Captain America Civil War base. It's pretty cool because this is the Team Iron Man base. And the arc reactor is cut into it. I don't know if you can see the little lines into that. But they're pretty cool. They're, they're shiny and reflective just like the name is. Okay, the Civil War name. Everything else is, is rough. And I don't know whether or not... This has the holes in there, like on the Age of Ultron basis, so you can put the vision stand in there if, in case you wanted to put her into a flying pose. She doesn't fly, but you know, you could have her jumping pretty well. She comes with just a standard um, base with these little seven sided bases have with a little crotch grabber. I'm not sure what I think about the crotch grabber. Sometimes I like, especially for the female characters, the ones that go around the waist, so I don't have those in there between her thighs. So um, the one that comes with Scarlet Witch is a perfect example of that. But these are all interchangeable. So if you have uh, these that are, uh, you know, with the, the waist grabber, you can use that. It'll fit in here. I imagine also for different manufacturers, different companies would have the same type of thing. They should be able to go in there just fine. But as you can see, she stands up well without having to use the base. So it's only for added security if you happen to live in earthquake zones and you want to make sure that you can keep your figure from falling over, then that would be perfect for that. In comparison to that stand, we have the Captain America Civil War Captain America. And 
his stand. Because obviously he's team Captain America. This is the blue for Captain America. So, you know, if you watch the movie, you know where Black Widow stands in regards to her allegiance or why. But you can see for the figure, we have her on Tony Stark's stand for Team Stark, Team Iron Man. And here we have her instruction manual. It says Black Widow MMS365 wants a scale collectible figure, instruction sheet. And we can just unfold that. And starts off with the cautions. So apply hair styling products to achieve better effects when necessary. Styling gel has been applied to product already. Don't rub or wipe the body with thinner benzene, alcohol, or any other rusted materials which could damage the material of the body. Don't get the rubber body in touch with fire or heat to avoid material damage. The outfit may be damaged if putting on or taking off inappropriately with excessive force. And don't excessively bend the elbows or knees, otherwise the elbow pads or knee pads may be damaged. Here we see the different accessories where they're supposed to be displayed on the figure. And here we see how to change out the Widow's Bite. So two styles of Widow Bite braces can be interchanged onto the figure in the direction that's shown. And then there's one more thing where it says holstering the batons. Two baton handles can be placed at the back of the figure as indicated. So what I hear more often than not from collectors is how does the head sculpt look? Does it look like the actual actress or actor who's portraying her? And did they use the same sculpt as last time? So this is the Black Widow from Age of Ultron. And we'll compare her next to Black Widow from Captain America Civil War. I would say that that is not the, the same head sculpt. No doubt about that, first off. I would definitely say that's a brand new head sculpt altogether. Now, looking at the two of them here, I like the way the Age of Ultron um, bodysuit fits her better, personally. Let's see the two of them side by side. Um, her hair looks a lot like Scarlet Witch's hair in this movie. So, first impression right now is I would believe I'm still a more of a fan of the Age of Ultron Black Widow. So, I do like the face and the head sculpt of the um, Captain America Black Widow. I think the, the face really resembles her more so in my opinion, I believe that they really nailed that. But, I don't know. Um, they each have their own look to them. And I'm not disappointed with the Civil War outfit. That's cool. I don't know, I, I kind of like the Age of Ultron, personally, better. So well, there's a, a good comparison of the two side by side. So articulations on this figure, we have a double jointed elbow. So the elbow bends here, there, and it also bends up here, which will give her the opportunity to get her arm up here really far. So you can have her her shoulder would cooperate, touching her face. Just pop her hand off. The thing is, is that this shoulder here area here is really limited in articulation. You see all this extra material clothing here? I mean, there's a lot of it. A lot of material clothing here. Which, which I don't know if it's restricting or if they did that to enable her to be able to move more. But she really can't get her arms moved much at the shoulder. Her shoulder arm is really articulated. I mean, it's really uh, limited a lot uh, because of that. 
a lot of padding in here, a lot of padding up here on the shoulders. Her her breasts are squishy. Um, and what I thought originally was a shadow underneath here is actually where uh, the top portion of her torso and her waist articulates. So I did a pretty good job of disguising that. And I, I like how they did that. That's pretty cool. Um, her head is real close to where the top of the neck is. So you can get her her neck bent a lot and then her head bent in addition to that. So you can really get her looking down. I mean, really. You can get her almost touching her chest with her chin. So it's, it's an amazing articulation there. But with the the head being so close to the top of the neck, you don't get much of it looking up. Matter of fact, that's it. <laughs> if you push the neck all the way back and then pull her head up, you see where it's starting to crack there, where the neck and the head is? I mean, that is it. There's no more looking up other than that. That's as far up as she goes. But the, the neck does allow it side to side again with that crack there. Oh, what's that on her face? I didn't notice that before uh, when I first opened it up. I'll have to check the video and see if that little mark was on there before. That's not cool. Okay. So her same thing with the suit. You get uh, some great splits here, but the suit wants to pull it right back. So moving forward can move her I mean her waist bends and her legs will go up so you can get a good pose but then the suit will start putting her back so that's as far as, as you can go another thing I don't much care for is back here again with the padding you've got this a uh, whole lot of material here on her on her bottom on her butt and it, it kind of looks good but then it also kind of looks like something's wrong there like it shouldn't really be that way I, I don't know how to explain it. So there's this little bulge there that probably shouldn't be there. And it's the material in the suit. So I, I, I'm not a, a big fan of that either. She has a double jointed knee. So it'll bend here, like such. And it will also bend there. So you can really get her leg up as well until the suit starts pulling it down. This knee pad is attached to the outfit, so don't try to remove that. Her feet, even though she's in a boot, which is uh, all one piece from here all the way down, does have some pivot. So you can bend her back a little bit, bend it forward a little bit, and a side to side. But again, because it's in the boot, the articulation won't stay much, You can, but you can move it enough probably to get some improved um, poses in that regard. I do like the design of it. I like how it looks worn and I like the little treads on the bottom. They look real in regards to how they're, they're worn. You got your little copyright 2016 Hot Toys Limited and Marvel on that side. And that's pretty cool. Another thing I like is how the pistols actually stay in the holster. On the Deadpool figure, I had a little difficulty making the pistol actually stay in the holster when he was inverted. But that's um, pretty nice that it stays in there like that. Another thing I don't much care for, and I don't know what this is, I suppose they're supposed to be her um, pelvis bones or hip bones right there on the sides. And they just, it looks un unnatural. So it's a little exaggerated more so than I think it should be uh, like that. It just doesn't look right. So I don't know what caused that or what was going on there. But it's it's, um, it's Gar Johansson, no doubt about it. Black Widow, really cool. And um, she's an excellent piece to have in your collection. Or if you haven't picked up one yet, I definitely recommend it. 
Put a little bit tons in here. And I don't like that this it doesn't really look like the batons. It doesn't it doesn't look like this one. Maybe you know, see not even there. And it surely doesn't look like this one. So I uh I'm kinda of disappointed in that a little bit. Now to put these different um they call it wheel bites on here, you just remove her hand. And then this just slides off in here. And then you would put on the colored one. And then place a hand back on her. Let's put a pistol hand on her here. And let's put her pistol in her hand. Trigger finger in there. I like how that pistol fits in her hand. Fits well. So you gun guys know what that is. I don't. I'm not a firearm guy. I don't know what kind of pistol that really is. Looks pretty cool. So overall, I'm very pleased with her. I'm really pleased with the head sculpt in regards to it looking like Scarlett Johansson. I'm, I'm very happy with that. Why can't I get her to stand up here on her own? It's to play difficult with me, huh? There we go. So I noticed on my on my figure as I was portraying her, this little red hair started showing up all over the place. Her hair is is um fall, little pieces of it are falling off. So maybe this was from when they had um, fashioned her hair and trimmed it up. I don't know. It's not long strands of hair. It's definitely um little short strands. I don't know if you can see them here or not. But all these hairs are coming off of her. And like I said, they're not long strands, they're just short strands. So maybe as they cut her hair, they didn't um, brush it all out or something. I don't know. But I, I find that interesting. Hey, what do we have here? A lady with guns. My kind of woman. I wonder if she knows who I am. These licensing agreements are so difficult to keep up with. Who owns who? Who can be displayed with which? Which can be in where? And where can be who? And how many X-Men actually live in the mansion? But I will say this. I love her outfit. So thanks for watching, everyone. Leave your comments in the section below. Tell me what you think of this figure. Will you be picking it up to add to your collection? Follow me on Facebook at Emerald, and Twitter at Emerald. Follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. Subscribe to be on Patreon. Every little bit helps. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You'll find that icon in the lower right hand corner right below the video. Just click that little thumbs up icon right there. Share this video with your friends. That helps out a lot. To be notified whenever I make a video, you're going to want to click my icon on the left hand side here. Follow to my about page, subscribe to my channel, and then click the little bell to be notified whenever I post a video. And to see more videos that I made, You'll find them on the right-hand side here. So thanks for watching, everyone. See you in the next video. Happy collecting.